friends now we are discussing transformation of beta function form 6 that is to show that integral b to a x minus b power m minus 1 into a minus x to the power n minus 1 dx is equal to a minus b power m plus n minus 1 times of beta of m comma n where m greater than 0 and n greater than 0 you see friends to prove this first we consider the definition of from the definition of beta of m comma n we have integral from 0 to 1 x to the power of n minus 1 1 minus x to the power of n minus 1 dx we have you see friends actually here we have to get limit b here you have to get limit a next in place of x we have x minus b in place of 1 minus x we want a minus x and the solution is also containing a minus b power m plus n minus 1 so to get this one we have to go for substitution method that is very very important you have to remember this what we are substitute means here you see we have to put x is equal to t minus b by a minus b if you remember this then only you can prove this very easily otherwise you cannot do remember first we have to write the definition and later we have to put x is equal to t minus b by a minus b this is very very important many times they are asking the asking in the exam and also their application sometimes they will give 2 2 3 x minus 3 power uh, something and uh, here a minus x power something into dx is equal to based on this application also they are asking so you have to remember to prove this one x is equal to what we have to take t minus b by a minus b t minus b by a minus b now we are changing x terms are into t terms so we need to find out dx as well as uh, limits also so what is the dx here actually derivative differentiate on both sides na? then you will have a left side dx now a minus b times of what is the t minus t d minus b derivative dt minus 0 that's it this is dx value now i want the limits of x from the x i want limits of t so what is the x you have actually x limits are what you have one is 0 if you put x is 0 then t minus b is 0 in this case t is equal to what b whenever uh, x is 0 t is b now put x is equal to what you have the upper limit here 1 if you put upper limit 1 then you will have a minus b is equal to t minus b so minus b left side and right side getting cancelled then you will have uh, limit for t is a that's it so the lower limit and upper limit is clear now you substitute this limit value dx value and x value in the above moreover you require 1 minus x here find out 1 minus x also 1 minus x is equal to 1 minus t by b times of a minus b okay lcm is here you have lcm is here you have a minus b then this is a minus b minus t plus b so minus b plus b getting cancelled then you will have a minus t by a minus b this is which value means 1 minus x value okay so we have now 1 minus x value x value dx value and limits now you substitute in equation number 1 then you can get uh, this one very easily you see beta of m comma n is a left side we have that is equal to integral b to a b to a x is here t minus b by a minus b power to the power n minus 1 1 minus x is a minus t by a minus b to the power n uh, this is uh, you have uh, x to power m minus 1 this is x power m minus 1 and here you have n minus 1 okay next here dx is what is the dx here you have 1 by a minus b times of dt that's it now you simplify this you see beta of m comma n is equal to first i am writing the constant outside you see 1 by denominator a minus b power what i have m minus 1 next you have n minus 1 next here you have power 1 so plus 1 into integral b to a t minus b power m minus 1 a minus t power n minus 1 into dt is it clear you see b limits from b to a t minus b power m minus 1 a minus t power n minus 1 into dt now you see for this then what you are getting you see 1 by a minus b times of m plus n m plus n minus 1 plus 1 getting cancelled then you will have minus 1 extra extra minus 1 is there and limit b to a t minus b power m minus 1 a minus t power n minus 1 into dt which value this is beta of m comma n value friend we know that uh, from the definite integral integral a to b f of x dx integral a to b f of x is dx is equal to integral a to b f of t dt shall we write so from this what you can write 
cross multiply first to this one a minus b power to the power m plus n minus 1 times of beta of m comma n is equal to integral b to a in place of t i am replacing with x and dt is replaced by dx then x minus, x minus b power m minus 1 times of a minus a minus x to the power of n minus 1 into dx that's it so is it clear for everyone so what you have to substitute in this case hint is you remember only to get this value we have to substitute x is equal to t minus b by a minus b in definition of the beta of m comma n then only we can solve this problem very easily otherwise it is not easy okay now right thank you for watching this video